Alright, so at long last, we can open this fucking new door already. And move on further into the lair. Alright. Fuck off, fuck off. God damn it. Right. So, uh, Brentilda is back here again. So let's talk to her. My fat old sister's favorite sport is loogie flicking. Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is blowing balloons up with her butt. Oh, Grunty's into some weird, like, like, weirdly kinky shit, but it's also, like, really, really gross. Alright. So, let's get into the next level. I don't hate this level, per se, uh, but it's not my favorite. Um, mostly because it's just filled to the brim with uh, swamp water that uh, has piranhas in it, and you can get hit and hurt, and it sucks. But uh, there's other levels that do that same shit, so I can't blame it completely. But this level does have good music, so it makes up for it. Alright, and this is the only level in this place as well, so... And it's just right by the start, so you don't even have to do much looking for it. <laughs> Alright. So that move we just got was the Waiting Boots, which is just a pair of boots that let you walk through the swampy water without uh, taking damage. Let's go ahead and shoot an ant. Fucking god, I hate this analog stick, I swear to god. Jesus. The problem is, is I keep I keep overcompensating too, and it ends up just fucking me up. Alright. So that's uh, that crocodile is going to be a long, uh, long-standing thing with this level, because um, we're gonna. Okay, um, we're going to be shooting an egg into each one's mouth as we uh, as we find it. But there's like six of them, so uh, we have to move all around the level to find them all. So just be prepared for that. Ah, these fucking frogs! I hate these frogs. And if you already hate them, if you already hate them now too, then get ready for this because there's a boss fight dedicated to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy tip: use your invincibility. Just fuck them all. There you go. Yay! <laughs> Just completely fuck over a boss battle and get on with it. That's how I like to do things. Okay. Alright. This is tank top. Oh, my feet are so numb and cold. <laughs> oh! This guy always makes me crack up. And there we go. Yay, we get a jiggy from him. But if you thought that's all we had to do with him, then you're wrong. Because we gotta go inside his mouth. And there's more turtles in here. Who just sort of live here for some reason. Don't ask me. Quiet, please. The famous Tip Top Choir will now perform my latest work. It's short, isn't it, chill boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard from the from lesson one. Okay, so yeah, this is just a matching game. Or a uh, memory game, like Simon says. Or uh, no, Simon says, just Simon. Okay, so I always hate doing this. There's pink, light blue, and blue. Good. Mm, not too bad, but try lesson two. 
Same deal. Pink. Oh, pink, purple, blue, yellow. Blue. Pink, purple, blue, yellow, blue. There we go. Ah, uh, splendid. You just need one more lesson. Okay, blue, light blue, blue, light blue, pink, blue, purple. Blue, light blue, blue, light blue, pink, pink, blue, and purple. Yay! We did it. First try. Uh, magnificent. A true, a true masterpiece. Here, take this trinket I found earlier. All right. It, it cracks me up how, like, these jiggies are supposed to be super important, yet everyone just calls them trinkets and doesn't actually know what they are. It, it's just so weird to me. Like, why? Like, how can they be so important if nobody really knows? What they, if, like, if if the people who give them away don't know what, what the fuck they are. All right, so let's take care of this thing I've been avoiding because I don't like this at all. Yeah, you're right. Er, yep, that's right. We're, uh, we're timed. I don't like doing this at all. I hate it a lot. Especially when you fall! I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. No, get that out! Oh god, let's get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret that. No! Yes! All right, now let's work our way back around and get the things that we missed, like this Jinjo. Ah, fucking camera's trying to kill me. Why? Why did I jump again? God damn it. Okay. All right, now this is the next uh, Croco. There we go. Or Croctus, I think, is his name. Just the weird, weird, uh... Fucking random... Golden crocodile in the middle of a swamp. Okay, is that everything? I think that is everything. Yes, it is everything here. So... Um, that next Croctus showed up over here, so let's just go this way. Alright, and this is exactly what I mean when I said uh, a couple episodes ago about uh, being able to go to a level later but not having the moves uh, to do everything. This is what I mean. Because uh, if we had just skipped this and not gone to the second level on time, or when we should have, then uh, we would have been shit out of luck when we got here to this part. So here's the next Grunty switch, and that blows off Grunty's fucking uh, hat in that statue outside. We'll have to get in there a little bit later. Alright, here's the next Croctus. There we go. Alright. Just want to... There we go. Okay, just wanted to get that. And there's a Jiggy. Sweet. Now we can get the fuck out of here. Alright, and that next Croctus. It's usually good to work around this level uh, where the Croctus appears. Um, just because that's a it's a good way to tackle the uh, <clears throat> the level in a in a like controlled order or like just like an order that doesn't get you lost. Um, this this area over here being really kind of one of the exceptions because uh, there's no Croctus that ever appears over here, but there is stuff to get, um, especially the Jiggy that we need to get in the big egg. So just make your way over here whenever you can. Alright. 
All right. And if you want to get this life up here, get it. And then smash down. Because we got to start breaking this layered egg for some reason. There's a, just an egg that just has more eggs in it. Oh, that's right. Slide. There we go. And last one. Boom. All right. Now we don't have much left to do here. All right. So the next bit is to, not here, it would be over this way. Next little bit is to get over to the big crocodile in the level and uh, get the shit that's over here. Ah, oh, you dirty fucker. All right, so there is a Jinjo up here, so be sure to remember to grab him. Might as well grab this, there we go. And uh, you're gonna have to just make your way on these giant <laughs> match sticks. I, I never, I never got these. I never quite got these at all. The fact that there's just like random match sticks just standing straight up in the middle of a swamp. That these always confuse me. Unless, unless they're supposed to be like, unless these are supposed to be like cattails, and I can, I can see that. But even then, it's still a little confusing. Like, why there's just giant cattails. Like, I don't know. I, like, I really don't know. If, if, there's, if these are supposed to be cattails, then, then, I, I, then I can just I can sleep happy and know exactly what the deal with them is. But if those are just giant match sticks in the middle of a swamp, then I am still forever confused. Um, now, I think I will save the uh, transformation in this level for last... Because there's uh, there's more things we can do with it um, once we leave the level. Uh, something that's actually necessary. So we'll just take care of that when we get there. So you just have to keep moving in here because they give you just enough time to make it to the next pair of boots and then keep going. So just uh, don't faff around too long. If you miss the note, just keep moving. You can always come back for them later. All right, now here's the next little fucking timed jiggy. Here we go. Ugh, I hate this so much. 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 Hey, okay. Hey, I guess just talking about how much I hate something actually helps me, uh, helps me get it without dying. So that's, uh, something to note in the future. It doesn't always work for me, but for some reason, sometimes it just fucking works. Combo token back there, and uh, like I said earlier, I think we'll uh, I think we'll skip on the uh, mumbo transformation. Actually, let me go inside at least because I think there's stuff I need to get. Yeah, here it is. This is the uh, this is the mumbo mumbo hut that has the, uh, the honeycomb just floating in the center of the room. So we'll wait on the transformation just because there's stuff I need to do um, outside the level with it. So I'll just wait to get it, because there, there is uh, one Jiggy I need to get here and a Jinjo and some notes that I need to get with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, the transformation here. Um, but then I, I need to take it outside to do something. So like, uh, like with the termite, I'll just save it for now. I should not have done this. Okay. No, don't shit an egg. Okay, let's get moving. I'll walk in the water. Alright, now the last Croctus that we saw was over here. So let's nab this bad boy. Gotcha. Got it. All right, and now with eight jiggies, we can rest easy knowing that, or at least I can rest easy knowing that I know where the last jiggy is, and it's just that crocodile game. Uh, but there's a Jinjo over here, and there's one more left, and I know where it is, so, and we can get them both with the transformation. So now, 
that's uh that's all done let's get back over to mumbo and transformo already well i wish i knew a faster way to get into the uh into mumbo's hut but unfortunately the game does not provide you with a way to get back to Mumbo's hut quickly, it just provides you a way out quickly, so that's kind of bullshit. Like honestly, if, if this game were ever to get redesigned for a, a, re, like a remake, I would definitely, just, it's just one small thing, it's just to add a, like a quick shortcut to get back to Mumbo's hut if you've made it there once, because that just, that would just make this part go so much faster. Luckily, that's not a super big problem in uh, Red Sector Leonard Palm at all in Banjo Tooie because they just they fix that problem uh, with uh, warp pads. But the warp pads were kind of necessary in Banjo Tooie because of the uh, the fact that the worlds are like three times as big as the worlds in Banjo Kazooie. So uh, the the warp pads were a hundred percent necessary. Yeah. Okay, so now we're a crocodile or an alligator. I'm not really sure which one. I believe, I believe we're a crocodile. I'm not sure. Even though I'm a, I'm a fucking, I've been a Floridian for most of my life. If you ask me, I still, I, I'd be able to tell you the difference between an alligator and a crocodile. But if you, if you made me look at an actual crocodile and an alligator, I probably would be able to guess, but I don't know the exact difference. So all I think I know is that alligators have like longer snouts. And uh, crocodiles have more like more more of a rounded jaw. Like the alligators ended in, in a point, and uh, crocodiles have a, a more rounded jaw. So I think we're crocodiles, but I, these could easily just be alligators. Yep. So now we're gonna do this eating game with uh, Mr. Vile, and if you fucking lose, he'll bite you and hurt you. So just there's your incentive. Don't lose. Though uh, this can get really hard. Uh, especially later, uh, in the because he'll challenge you to two more rounds. This can get really, really hard. So don't be don't be discouraged if you lose a lot. Just be careful if you lose a lot because there the consequence to losing this game is that he will hurt you, and you run the risk of dying and losing all your progress in the level. And uh, a good a good tactic is to just get right like if, if he's going for the same yumbly that you're going for get right up in his face and take it from him um, and and try to get them in chains as best he can because if you if you're wandering around he's gunning right for the next one so if you're wandering around and you're not eating anything you're you're at risk of losing very easily so just make sure you can find a nice chain and and uh, just go for it ah, damn it yeah I got this Damn, Vile, I fucking wrecked your ass, dude. Grr, you only win easy game. Now we play harder game. Eat reds, avoid yellow grumblies. They not ripe. Ready? One, three, two, one, go. Yeah, so as he said, same game, just avoid the yellow ones. Um, shit, 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 shit. Uh, another good tactic to use is uh, if, if you don't see any but you're still close to Vile, you can use his, uh, the direction he's going to uh, get to the next Grumbly and uh, snag it before he can. Damn it. Got it. That, it bear in mind, that is if you can get to it before he does, because he is, he is a bit faster than you are. Damn it. I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose. I got, hold on, I got 30 seconds still. So, or 20, rather. Come on, come on, come on, here we go, here we go, good, 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 good. Come on, come on, there's not enough of them. Up here more, damn it. Dude, are you kidding me? Oh, no, 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 this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, no, no, oh my god, fuck. Oh, god damn it, if, yeah, if you tie, he fucking counts it as a lose. Um, you can get away before he bites you, though. If, you, if you're close enough to the exit, you can just get away, and uh, he won't bite you. Unfortunately, I believe that getting away means that he's going to make you do the first game over again. So if that's the case, I'll just cut back to where I was. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so now... 
last round is to uh, eat whatever's shown at the top of the screen. If you eat the wrong thing, uh, then you will stop and start coughing for a little bit, so be careful. Alright, so so far so good. Now we go for yellows. So this one's definitely, this one is absolutely harder, but um, keep it, pay attention to how long it takes for the, the grumblies to switch, because that way, if you know that they're about to switch, you can avoid um, eating the next color. Or you can avoid eating it so that you can start running towards the next color that you're supposed to eat and uh, get sort of a head start on the, uh, the, next, the next grumbly to eat. So they should change in a second. Yeah, there we go. Come on, come on. No, this isn't good. He's catching up. Or it's never good to be like this closely tied to him. Oh no 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 no! no. Oh no 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 no! This isn't good. This isn't good. This is good. No 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 no! Oh no! I lost. I lost. God damn it! All right, let's try that again. Let's not fuck it up this time. There we go. Oh, perfect, 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 beautiful. God damn it! All right, should change in a second now. There we go. Perfect. I just saw Vile miss one. I've never actually seen that before. Alright, to change. No, damn it! It changed just after. There we go. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Change. There we go. Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. This is what winning run looks like. Alright. Come on, damn it. No, change, change, change. There we go. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're good, we're good. We got this, we got this, we got this. Yes. Yes. Mr. Vile never lost before. Greedy can have prize. Yay! Alright, now, he will challenge you again to the same game. Um, that uh, if you win, you get three extra lives. If you lose, he will insta-kill you. So, <laughs> do not try that unless you're feeling ballsy and you need the lives. I don't and never have, so <laughs> I've never tried it. Um, and today won't be that day. All right, so the last thing to do with the uh, alligator is to come over here and just grab the last little bits of things that are uh, over here, including this Jinjo, which gives us our last Jiggy, and uh, all the assorted notes and stuff. All right, two Mumbo tokens over here, so that's good. Grab some more Golden Feathers, and I believe the last thing to get is a life and the last of these notes. 98, 99, 100. An extra life to boot. And we're done. All right. Okay. Now we take the crocodile over this way. When we go back here, we find a little secret, secret, secret over here, which is the switch for the next world. Yay! Um, but also, ah, shit. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done this just yet. So I'm supposed to have taken uh, Banjo back here before we changed into a, uh... oh, oh, I can do this now? Okay, well, I'll do it now. Alright, well that opens up the next level. I didn't realize I could do that as the alligator, but okay. Um, I'll meet you back here in just a sec when I've come back as Banjo, because uh, I'm supposed to take the uh, the uh, crocodile up here and uh, break that, or go inside there, but I need to break that boulder with, uh, or that ice block with uh, Banjo, so I'll be right back. Okay, now that we're back here with the proper transformation, or the proper form, I guess. We can uh, take out this and uh, come back here as the alligator, so I'll be back again. All right. And now, <laughs> with all that out of the way, that, that this is the one thing that, that kind of bothers me about some of the transformation stuff you have to do outside, is uh, running back inside to transform back and then going back again to transform a second time. That just bothers me. But anyway, here's Cheeto. 
Cheeto, the spell book you have found. Magic cheats I have for you. Hey, Book Brain, what did you say? You better not give my spells away. Which lost book finders bear and bird are? Spell they get. We sure do like Bag Lady. Or we sure do, Bag Lady. Come on, Book Boy, give us the spells. Only one spell Cheeto can tell. Enter the code Blue Eggs on the Sand Castle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. World. <laughs> Help you, it will. Thanks, Mr. Cheeto. Hidden in layer, other spellbooks are. Them you might, them you should find. So, with more broken English, with a uh, Yoda speak coming from old Cheeto, the spellbook here, um, we have a cheat, which is blue eggs. Um, we can just put that in on that that's a spelling floor in the sandcastle in Treasure Trove Cove. Um, enter that in, and uh, we get double our egg count, which. I don't think I'll do, I, I, you know what, I, I will do it, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, I'll do that towards the end of the game. Because um, right now I don't really need to, and it's just a hassle to go back right now and do it anyway, so I'll just do it later. 